in today's video I'm going to show you how to repair a dishwasher that's not washing properly because the water's not heating up. Um, I've not done this before but I'm thinking to myself it can't be that hard really because when you think of I know water's going in, water's coming out, the elements going round, it's going through the programs the only thing that's not happening is it's not heating up the water so it's washing with cold water so I'm thinking well straight away you think it must be the heater element and you think if it's not the heater element what else could it be? It could be the thermostat or the, the PCB. I'm pretty sure the electric board's okay because everything else is working but we'll check it as well. So that's it. So first of all before we go any further we need to find out what I know it's a John Lewis dishwasher but I don't really know much more about it. It's clearly not made by John Lewis. So I need to find out who actually makes this wash the washing machine, this dishwasher. So let's have a look at the, where we find that out first. Just inside the dishwasher I have the, the model details. It says what model it is. I'm not really interested in this John Lewis DW. What I'm really interested in is the PNC number. which should be a nine digit number. So forget the 02. So an example here it's 9115140. Um, so all I do now is I put that number in in the old uh, that internet thing and then that will give me information about what sort of dishwasher this is or the make and it's actually an AEG uh, Electrolux Sanusi so now I can do a search of uh, any information about this dishwasher now I couldn't find out too much on the internet about this uh, dishwasher certainly on YouTube so hence why I'm making this video I took it apart last week and I struggled a bit so I'm just going to share with you how I got it apart and you'll see when we put it back together later how it all fits together but the key thing is you start with taking the, the top off and there's two screws at the back and you just pull that back that then enables you to get to the other screws to take the side panels off and what you're really interested in is the other side over there but the, you take there's a screw here here and here so three at the back two at the top here and then another one down here. Now this one here was a tricky one because there's a plastic piece of um, moulding which you think is screwed in but it's not and we'll come back to that to the end when you put it back but once you take these screws off or out you can then take the cover off. So I'm going to turn it around and I the thing is once you've done the, the dishwasher you're thinking well how do I know what the parts are, what does the heat element look like? So all I do is do a search on that PCN number on spares and in my case I used these spares and it showed me what the components looked like so it showed me that this is what the, the sensor looks like and this is what the, the heater element looks like so I knew what I had to take out I had to take these other bits out just to, to get to them so these are the bits I'm really interested in the other thing is I said about um, the circuit board I said it could have been three things I said the, heater element, the thermostat or even the circuit board and there's lots of videos where everyone says it's a circuit board and say look it out, bit of soldering, change the component, blah 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 Box your uncle so in theory I was thinking well I better check it so naturally I thought the circuit board was behind here so I took that apart, no it's not in lots of videos it shows the circuit board here no it wasn't and actually the circuit board just turn this around you see this metal plate here and there's two screws one there one there I'm not going to do it now but take that plate off and the circuit board is there very easy to get to I took the circuit board out had a look at it I can see any burn marks no dry joints so I'll just put it back so I'm gambling on this being working I'm pretty confident it is so now the question is which of these two components is, is broken um, so let's take this one here first which is one I was really thinking the heater element now I did see someone testing there's these two like um, are they thermostats or switches here and basically like testing them so using a, a, a multimeter so if I just put it on continuity so continuity you're just seeing if you've got a, a complete circuit so what I'm going if I go across say like these two lines here I hear the buzz now if I go to the other side of the switch I hear the buzz good 
if I do this one and so this is this side of the switch if I go the other side nothing so if I've got this right that's telling me this is duff so what I did was I actually ordered a new one of those so now, let me go and get that out of the box and we do the same tests and if I got it right hopefully that will um it should buzz on both on both both of the points. So bear me a second. Right, so here's my new heater element. And if I do the same two tests, so I went from there to the other side, good. Now this time when I did this one this didn't buzz last time. So this side and buzz. So I complete circuit there, complete circuit there, whereas on the other one, one of them didn't work. So as far as I'm concerned, this is the problem. What I also ordered, I ordered a new one of these as well. Yeah, I don't think this is broken. Um, I didn't bother testing it. I thought I'd just buy one as well. So this is it, put these two in there and then hopefully it will work. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to turn it over on its side there and take these, this bit of plastic out and then I can actually get to do the work and then you'll see what it's like to put it back together which is the opposite of taking it apart. Now comes the horrible bit. So this in my right hand is the pump and this here is my new heater element. So there should be a rubber seal now, I'll put that in there in a second and these join together so they, they clip underneath and this here I don't know if you can see this moves you can put that in and then turn it around and then once it's in this here joins that there with one of those horrible little clips and then this one joins another component which is I got to the side here Oops. And I'll put that in in a minute, but this is the hardest bit because I struggled to get these apart in situ, so I had to take the whole thing out, to disconnect it. But these, the way this joins, I've got these two poses connecting, and then these two joints here connect to two rubber seals, not rubber seals, rubber mounts. And I really struggled to get it out. And what I didn't realize is there's little clips underneath, so let me just clip one out. And there's a little mount, rubber mount. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clip them, mount them on here, and then put it all in and push them through hopefully. That sounds easy, doesn't it? Is that going to work? Two in. Ah, cool. Now I'll turn that around. You know why I should have used a bit of grease, shouldn't I? Hey, in she goes. Oops. This fits in easy now. Just need to get that on there. Get these clips out of the way. Oh, nearly, nearly. Hey, does it? Right, now let's push these clips in. Put that in there. Connect the two herbs. So let's take the camera down and we look at what we're going to do here now. Now, what I need to do is connect this in here and then screw the two screws onto there. So here we go again with these horrible, horrible clips. Huh. Well that one went on quite easily. So 
push that in there, put the two screws in there to hold it in place. Where does that plug into? There. Yeah. There we go. And the last thing I need to do is put uh, this, which goes in there. Oh, sorry, I forgot to put a camera on, so I'll just push this in here. Put clip in there. Bang, that's it. I put this back there. So. Right, put this on, put it all back together, we need it there. Sides are on, put the top on, that's quite simple. A couple of little catches here, here, here and here. We go on the top, and the little slots. Okay, slide on. And then two screws at the back. Now the way this works, it's just tabs on the back, or should we say on the top and on the bottom. So it was hard getting it out. So let's see what it's like when it back in. Here those screws are over. So it seems to oh, there we go. That's it, so right, let's get it back inside, connect it up, and let's see if it works. The dishwasher is now back plugged in. I can feel warm from there already. So, just to prove it, take it up. Oh, look at that steam. <laughs> oh, that was pretty steamy. So, we know it's definitely the heater unit. Replace that and I now have a working dishwasher. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.